Hey y'all, so today I am here with my August favorites. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know I'm so excited August is over. Like a lot of people, I am so ready for fall. I am like ready. Like I have boots on right now because I am like ready. If you wanted to see what my beauty favorites were for the month of August, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with skin because I just have a couple. I have probably more hair products than anything. The first thing I wanna mention are these makeup remover wipes. These are the CVS brand. They're the exfoliating cleansing towelettes. It says it has textured beads that deep clean and gently exfoliate. This is a 36 pack and I think I got them for like five or six dollars. It says it soothes and refreshes with cucumber, aloe, and green tea and they are oil free. I usually use the Neutrogena ones. I also saw Meg Chabella XO. I think she talked about them in a vlog or something and so I was like, hmm, I'll try them out. They are not as moist as the Neutrogena ones, so they're a little more abrasive on the face. They're not as just gentle, but I do like those. They do remove all the makeup. They are real soothing. I do feel like they get all the makeup off because they have that side that has the um, beads on them, and then the other side is soft. So I use the soft side for my eyes and the more exfoliating side for my face. But if you're interested in trying like maybe a, a drugstore brand out versus like the, hot, the name brand ones, check out CVS's brand. They have like four different lot like versions in the line and this one's the cucumber one so next for the face is something that i've mentioned in an old favorites it's something that i kind of lost in my bathroom products and i found it and i started using it again it's the ponds dry skin cream rich hydrating facial moisturizer it's not my favorite smell but it really works well as far as hydrating my skin so i like to use this I use that at night and in the mornings. It kind of just depends if I want something a little thicker because this is a cream versus like a moisturizer. I just put a glob on the back of my hand and then dot it on my face and just blend it up down my face all the way down my neck because you want to include your neck when you're moisturizing your face. I picked this up in July, the end of July. I mentioned it in a vlog when I picked it up. It's the Vaseline Intensive Care Healing Serum. It moisturizes to heal and calm severely dry skin. I picked this up to use on my stomach for stretch mark prevention. I just started getting tight and itchy. So I got the calming one to prevent the itch, you know, the itchiness. I've really been liking this. I use it in the morning and at night. I put a quarter size amount in the palm of my hand and then just rub it. Sorry, I have the hiccups. I just rub it all over my stomach, onto my waist, on my booty and my boobs to prevent stretch marks on all those areas and I haven't had any flare-ups or anything so far. Plus it has a really calm like lavender smell and I really like that. Let's go to hair products. So the first thing is the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This is the old packaging. I've been using this since I started my channel. I think I, start, I think I started using it when I started my channel. This just saves my hair. I put my hair in this mask once or twice a week. It has the best smell ever. I mean, seriously, no hair product, like a conditioner or anything has ever topped the smell for me. This stuff is awesome whether you have healthy hair or not. But I, what I do is I put this in my hair and I'll put my hair up in a clip. This stuff, my hair just has a world of a difference after I use it. It's shiny, it's strong, it's soft, it's everything you would want out of healthy hair and it's all because of this product so I just leave it up in that for about a few hours, sometimes even longer, it just depends and then I go and just you know rinse it out and blow dry and I'm good to go. So I love this stuff. You can get it at Ulta. It's just got a different packaging so it's not going to look like this anymore. It's a, it's more of, it's a more chic packaging. I think it's like a dark, dark brown with the same green. You can get a sample packet of it for like $6. And then next is um, the Kenra Silkening Mist. I've been using this forever. It has a great smell. It's a real fine mist, like literally like the finest mist ever. It's shine spray, but it has thermal protectant in it as well. So after I blow dry my hair, when I'm going to, sh I have curly hair, so I have to straighten my hair in sections so that I get all of it. I just, you know, like if I'm gonna start by if I'm gonna part my hair at my ears and straighten this part first, I'll just spray this and then brush it through and then straighten over it. And then you can use it as a finishing spray too, which I do that sometimes, and just you know spray it and then run your hands through it and it's a real, it just you know sleeks it out and makes it real shiny. Um, another Kenra product that I wanna mention, and it's the Kenra Platinum line by the way. Both of these are. 
This is the Recovery Polish. It says new, but it's not. I've had this for a little bit. This stuff is awesome because what it does, I'm just gonna tell you what it does because I'm not gonna explain it very well. It's an ultra lightweight restorative leave-in treatment that com combats dehydration and smooth the damaged cuticle layer for incredible softness, shine, and definition with natural movement. Non-greasy formulation enhances any hair type or style by helping to improve hair strength and condition. It is enriched with essential vitamins, nutrit nutritive bot botanicals, I'm sorry, it's a really small font, and our exclusive UV defense duo. So what I do with this stuff is you don't need a whole lot of it. I just take the tiniest pump, like tiny, like smaller than a dime size, put it on my fingertips, and I work it around the hairline right around the face and around the nape of my neck because that's where I have the most breakage. See where this hair is super short? I hope y'all can see it. That is breakage and it this stuff will help protect it and make it strong again. So that is what I use this for. If you are needing something like that around the hairline of your hair, I don't know if there's anything newer out, but I really like this stuff. I just started using it again, but it lasts forever. Next is this Redken Quick Tease 15. It's a back combing finishing spray. You can spray it right anywhere you want volume. This is the stuff I use when I like wave my hair. You just take it, shake it up, spray at the root, like right under here. I'm not spraying it, but I'm gonna show you what you would do. You would spray it right here, um, or right in the crown, or anywhere, or you can even do it on top of your hair, um, which I do that too when I, when I wand it, and just kind of like scrunch it up. It gives a lot of volume, and then you can kind of like tousle it, probably, out of all the hair products that I mentioned, besides the deep conditioning mask, this is like the one that I say, go get it. Now let's talk about makeup. The first thing I want to mention is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I can't remember when it was that I picked this up, but I know we did an Ulta haul on my channel and I mentioned picking this up. This is the same one that I got. It's in chocolate. I've been loving it. It's, um, it's everyone saying it's a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's a very small um, applicator that you just light, you know, will feather onto your brows and just give yourself that brow. So. That's what the chocolate looks like. It works for my, it's a little lighter, but since my hair is lightened a little bit, it works back when it was darker. It kind of was a little too light, but I love the way it looks. It's real easy to work with with your fingers. It lasts, I love it. I have had a lot of people ask me what I've been using on my brows, and it's this. I believe it's $10, anywhere you can get NYX. So check this out, because the Anastasia Brow is like 21, so it's like half the price. The next thing I want to mention is a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade Light, I think. When I first tried this, honestly, I didn't like it that much. Everyone had been, you know, talking about it on YouTube or, you know, comparing it to, like, the NARS Creamy Concealers. Bo bo, you're knocking this over. No, no. So, I had kind of high expectations for it, and I didn't really like it. I thought, I just didn't like the way it sat on my face. I like the shade of this light color. It's a very creamy color. It's not really pink. It's a lot more yellow. So I did like that a lot as far as the undertone of the concealer. Um, but I actually do like it. I like the applicator. So it's real easy just to sweep under your eyes. I did use it today under my eyes. I, I just like it. I've been I've liked it a lot the more that I've been working with it. So I mentioned this, I think in that same Ulta haul, this is the Rimmel BB Cream Radiance 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup, and this is in the shade Medium. So I like this because whew, it has a very um, pretty sheen to it. So you probably won't be able to tell, but it has a very light sheen to it, a very pretty glow. Now, I don't, like as far as the color goes, it only comes in light and medium and maybe dark, I can't remember but I don't like it by itself. I think the color doesn't isn't right for me. However, I do love mixing it with foundation. So this works awesome. If you're wanting to illuminize any kind of makeup foundation that you're using, try this. I've really been loving it mixed with my L'Oreal True Match, which already kind of has an illuminating look to it. I think those two mixed together just makes my face look like it's beaming. Um, it just looks really, really healthy. So I love mixing this with the other foundations. However, by itself, it's not my favorite just because I don't think it just doesn't go with my skin tone. Speaking of foundation, I've been loving the Too Faced Born This Way. It is everything that it's hyped up to be on YouTube. 
It seriously is awesome. I am wearing it right now. I've been wearing it every day. It's extremely long wearing, even on my longest days. It holds up, which says a lot because I don't set my foundation with a powder. I set my concealer only. So when I'm constantly holding a phone at work, you know, and having the phone all across my face, and the makeup doesn't go anywhere. So it's an awesome, awesome foundation. Definitely worth the hype. I've been floating between these two shades when I'm more lighter. This is the light beige, and when I'm tan like now, I'm in the shade sand. There's a million shades. I mean, I could probably wear a lot more of the shades because their shades are really versatile. So don't be scared of the shades if you're trying to order off of line. The off of line. This is the Derma Blend Professional Setting Powder. I love this stuff. Blue. This stuff is amazing. I did a whole video on how to cream contour like a pro, and I used the setting powder and I used the Derma Blend Quick Fix Concealers. So I'll link that below if you haven't seen it and you wanted to catch a video like that. I do have a coupon code that you can use to get this setting powder if you'd like. This stuff is seriously amazing. It's, so this is the translucent shade, um, or it's in the original. They also have it in beige, which is very tan. Uh, I, I love this one. It's so soft. It's like, it reminds me of my Makeup Forever HD powder, but you get like so much more of it. And I think it's a little softer. I'll even bake with this stuff, um, which is that new baking or cooking where you set your, you, I keep saying set, where you set a little bit of loose translucent powder underneath your contour line and then like sweep it away and it'll carve out your cheekbones. And this stuff does incredible for that too. This is a blush. This is a blush. It's the NYX um, HD. I think it's the H NYX HD High Definition Blush. This is in the shade Nude Tude. And it is just a extremely nude color. I'm wearing it today. You can hardly tell I have blush on, but it does kind of like, you know, accentuate your cheeks. Some people are not blush people and do not like pinks or corals or peaches or reds or any of that on their cheeks so if you're like one of those people or you're just trying to get into the blush world and you're not used to it check this out or if you're really young this would even be awesome too it's stuff it's a light flush of color they're very long wearing they they blend really nicely and they're extremely affordable as well and they're real small and compact which i love i love when something doesn't take up a lot of space in my makeup bag an oldie but a goodie this is the Too Faced semi sweet chocolate bar palette I have been using this like every day lately because it's a, it's an awesome go-to palette. It's got a ton of these matte browns. This palette is incredible because you can get everything out of it. I may or may, may not be giving this away, not this one, but giving one of these away in September in my fall giveaway. So you better come back for that. Then lastly are two lip products. The first one is a lip liner. I have it on right now with a just a very sheer pink gloss this is the bobby brown lip liner in mauve it's a gr i love mauve um lip liners for the fall i love to mix this even with my like lip balm i just love this shade because it adds a little bit more life to your lips it's so smooth it lasts forever and it doesn't bleed at all and next is something that i've told you all in my vlogs for several weeks now that i've been loving this is the butter london lippy bloody brilliant lip crayon and this is in teddy boy so it comes with a sharpener on the top because it is a lip crayon and then this is what it looks like so obviously i need to sharpen mine but if you can see it's just a really this is the color right here it's a very perfect fall everyday lip color i've been wearing this almost every day to work it's got a minty smell to it it's got a very glossy look and it lasts forever and it kind of dries my so it's right underneath this is the lip pencil and then this is the lip crayon like i said it is in the shade teddy boy it's just a very beautiful mauve shade that i've been loving like seriously obsessing i keep it in my purse at all times <laughs> that is all my favorites for august i hope you enjoyed this video i missed july's favorites but i didn't really have anything new i didn't really try anything at all so i of course had to do an August favorites. I'm so excited about September because the makeup is awesome and the weather is awesome and it's football season and everything is just peaches in September. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Stay tuned for the giveaway that is coming in September because it will be beauty related and I might sneak it into a normal video like this. Who knows? It might not be titled giveaway. It might just like be snuck up in the video. You never know. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.